I've been covering Airbrite from early days and open source, you folks have a very strong focus on open source. Uh, what role do you see of open source in this AI landscape and from Airbyte's perspective? Yeah, open source will always be immensely important. And, and the reason for that is because of, of two things. First, the power of a community is unparalleled. Like, the idea that you can engage with others, share share uh, feedback and support one another in using a tool is hugely important, not just from a business model perspective, but in terms of a relationship with your customers, which leads to why the second part of it, it's really important to go open source because it decreases the latency in getting feedback tremendously. We can release new features and get immediately feedback from the uh, community on what is working, what is not, and that gives immense distribution. And so if you always want to be cutting edge in the world of AI, you need to find out what is the way to get that feedback as soon as possible. And from our point of view, there's very few things that can compete with open source. Now, when it comes to AI, yeah. and the foundation is data, yeah. we are hearing a lot about data sovereignty. Yeah. At the same time, the biggest problem with AI is bias, which is yeah. built into that. Uh, different countries, they have different cultural nuances. Some things are totally not acceptable, you know. Uh, like in Thailand, you cannot say anything against the king. You will be in the so a chat GPT cannot give any answer that can defy that. I was talking to someone from UAI, they build their own Falcon AI because they said the Western models are very much biased. So, since you are working between data pipelines, how are you enabling countries, nations, organizations to have that data sovereignty without compromising on being able to use AI? Yeah, and, and this is a great question in terms of where Airbyte falls in the stack. And so when we think of data sovereignty, it, it is largely in recognizing that each country, each enterprise has their own requirements and parameters that, that they need to be accounting for. And so our optimism and our assumptions when we're working with our customers is that they've designed that internal infrastructure accordingly in mind. And so when they work with us using maybe our Flex product where they, or they use open source, they're bringing that product into an infrastructure that they've already managed exclusively to be the connectivity layer and bring that data into the infrastructure. They are not managing the data right now with us where it's saying manipulate it to remove bias or to ensure data uh, is cleaned using Airbyte it is much more, let me get access to it on my infrastructure and then fully evaluate it as it looks at the source so that I can properly manage it towards what I need to be modifying for. Maybe it is for bias, uh, maybe it is for something alternative. And within, by doing so within your environment, you can mitigate all your re legal risk and you can also ensure that this is in line with the way you want your system to be designed. 